Thanks for Tsunami's God of Warfare 2. It's supposed to come out next year. I really hope it don't get delayed, because this was a fun game. It comes out for... And, uh... If you heard it, uh... Plants vs. Zombies God of Warfare 2 is gonna have a single-player mode, so that way you don't have to play online. Let's hope they don't change that. Fingers crossed. Infamous 2. Really, really fun open-world game. A lot of people don't like this, this, this series, because it's unrealistic. But who says all games have to be realistic? We have... My favorite series of all time. I have every Uncharted game pretty much. Uncharted 4 is not out yet. I'll be getting it when I get my PlayStation 4. Uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Really good game. Probably the hardest Uncharted out of all of them. Other than that, it's really, really fun. Really fun. All the Uncharted's are amazing. They're just really fun. Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. I got a chip in the case because I dropped it one time when I was when I first got this. Uh, this is actually the first Uncharted game I ever played, and this is what really got me in. I was just playing this game, and I was like, holy shit, this game is freaking epic. The climbing, the action, the story, it just got me into Uncharted, and I just became an Uncharted fan just like that. And obviously, we have Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. I was about to say Drake's Fortune. This one is really, really good. Great action, great adventure. It's just like any other Uncharted. I give all three Uncharted's... I give all three Uncharted's an equal score out of 100. They're amazing. This is my favorite, favorite series of all time. Every single Uncharted was Game of the Year. We have... I'm going to review these two games as one. Well. I used to have pretty much every MLB. Not every single one, but I used to have pretty much every one. Uh, but I sold most of them because I only wanted the two ones that I really liked: uh, MLB not 09 and MLB 15. These are one of my these are my favorites. We have my cousin's favorite series, Batman: Arkham Asylum. I am doing a let's play currently. I don't have too many parts up because I'm trying to uh, work on other stuff, but I will. Let's see, we have. Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7. This is probably, in my opinion, one of the best Lego series. Not because I'm a fan of Harry Potter or anything. It's just a good series. I love the way they put this together. It's really fun. Other than that, it's not a fun game to stick with. It just gets kind of old. I have Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4. Still a really fun game. Same as 5 through 7. Not really too fun to stick with, but still good. Uh, but I actually might start playing this again. These were really fun games. We have Infamous, the first Infamous. Uh, it's not as good as Infamous 2. Uh, but it is still really good. Got Super Street Fighter 4. Really fun fighting game. We have Street Fighter 4. Regular right Street Fighter 4. We have Lego Star Wars the complete, the complete Sago or Saga. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Uh, I remember when this was like the game that everyone had. I remember the original one. The, uh, Lego Star Wars and Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, for the PlayStation 2. Man, did I love that game. That's what got me into playing this. Uh, I have... The Incredible Hulk. I actually haven't played this for a while. This is... It's an open world game. It's a really fun game. I might start playing this again, too. Uh... You're the Hulk, obviously. Uh... It's a really good game. It's really fun. It's fun to just go around. Uh, look at this pile. I'm going to show you this pile after I'm done with one of the games. We got... Wow, I haven't played this game in a while. Toy Story 3. Man, I got this when I was like 9, 10. This was like my favorite game before I got into Uncharted. Man, did I love this game. Wow. I can't believe I forgot about this game. We have two more left. 
UFC 2009 Undisputed. This is a pretty... UFC, to me, is a pretty decent fighting kind of sport game. It's not one of my favorites. I still play it. I still spend a lot of time playing it. It's a really good game. It's just I don't really take it too seriously. I have, last but not least, I have Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of Two Worlds. This game is pretty decent for fighting games. It's definitely a really fun game to play. Uh... There's not much to say about it. Got Marvel characters, got Capcom characters, no shit. Um, but yeah. It would be great if they made a Marvel vs. DC video game. Or a Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat. Or even if they put them all together, who gives a fuck? Um, that is all the games. I said these were a lot. I'm gonna count these real quick. Alright, uh, we got a big-ass pile here. Alright. I'm going to see if I just thought it was enough or it just looked... No, no. If I thought it was a lot and it just looked like a lot, we'll see. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, PlayStation 3 games. Not as much as I thought, but to me, that's a lot for how many games I play, how much of a gamer I am. Uh, I will do a collection video on my Xbox 360 games. They're nowhere near as much as my PlayStation 3 games. Uh, I thought I had a little bit more. I thought it would have a, about up to the 40 mark, but I only have 38. <sighs> There's definitely some kind of game thrown around somewhere. Actually, no, there's not. Uh, that is all the games. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to keep up with more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.